Father, we are here for you tonight. And I proclaim this over this house tonight. We're not going to leave the same as we were when we walked Amen. in. Because tonight, like no other night in our life, we're going to hold nothing back. And our praise and our worship unto you, we will hold nothing back tonight. We will praise your name like we've never praised your name before. We will shout like we've never shouted before. We're going to dance like we've never danced before. People that have never danced unto the Lord are going to dance like David tonight. Because we're no longer going to be the same. Because we live for you. We're alive for you. Your amazing love. Father, so amazing. So how could we not give all that we have to you? How could we hold anything back when you're that good, when you've set us free? Set us free to give, set us free to live, set us free to love. So Father, we thank you tonight. We praise you tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Go love somebody. Say 
said, so rise, your shackles are no more. For Jesus Christ has broken every chain. Someone needs to rise, your shackles are no more. For Jesus Christ has broken every chain. We thank you for it tonight, oh God.
loss of, of one that had been in our youth group years, years ago. If you don't know if you heard about it, Evan Reynolds, who took his life and left behind two little boys. Um, he's not the first that has kind of, uh, I, don't, I don't know where his journey went, you know, and then they, um, we've lost other people here who've taken, taken their life. They've hit troubled waters. And I want to lift up his family, but I also want to address the spirit. I want to address these demons of death and destruction, you know, the answer is God's presence. I was one of those kids that wanted to take my own life at 13 because of the heaviness of the home life that I lived in. And I'm just so thankful that it didn't happen. I had a mom who drug me to church. <laughs> and his presence, even in that Lutheran church, because God's presence is everywhere. Everywhere, we cannot escape. Where can I go from your presence? It says, <laughs> if I run, you're, you'll find me there. If I go to the depths, you'll find me there. Like his presence is everywhere. And I'm so thankful for that. But the thief, the liar comes in and he just wanted to take out so many, so many that have come through this house. And I wanna, I wanna pray and lift up strength over that family that they don't blame God because that's what the enemy does. He's such a liar, he's such a liar. So right now, in the name of Jesus, we speak over the Reynolds family and even to our little sister who's been a, a tender here at this church for a little while, Madison, Maddie, Reynolds, to all of them. God, this family was Sonny, Rondi, and Ryan. And to all that are left behind, the little boys, Lord, we speak your presence, your presence, your presence, your presence over them. Holy Spirit, go and surround them with your love, God. Cover them with your feathers. Under their under your wings they find refuge. Let them lift their heads to you. Lift their eyes to the hills where their help comes from. Their help comes from you. And we speak to all these lying spirits to shut their mouths in the name of Jesus. And we say that this family is not going to regress. These children are not going to rise up not knowing a daddy because they're going to know their daddy God in the name of Jesus. They're going to know Father God and they're going to know his love and his goodness and his mercy that endures forever. The God who chases us down with his love and tackles us. God, where would we be without your presence? Where would we be without you, Jesus? Thank you for coming. Thank you for saving. Thank you for blessing. Thank you for healing, healing broken hearts. children rise up and bless you God they know their identity they don't want to run to drugs they don't want to run to alcohol they don't want to run to lesser lovers they're going to run to you Jesus the lover of their soul they're going to run to your presence I speak over this region come back to church I say over this region come back to the house of God come back to the house of God come back to his presence where we corporately have you God you're just so strong and so big as we come to exalt you together there's nothing like being in the house. I thank you that you're in my home house. I thank you you're in this temple house. I thank you that you're with me at Walmart. You're with me in my car. But I thank you, Father, for your extreme presence that is in this house and in every church house that says yes to you, Jesus. So we just say, come on home. Come back home to the north, south, east, and west. We say, come home. Come back to church. Come back to the sanctuary. Come back to the presence in Jesus' name. Amen. You're the God of the impossible.
no giant in the camp. And I, I felt like uh, I want to stand in agreement for all of us for a, pr- a specific prayer. The devil rules the world through something called ignorance and poverty. They're, they're twin sisters, you know. He can keep you stupid. He can keep you poor. He can have his way with your family and your community. And so I want to break a spirit of poverty off this area. This morning we read the scripture, just the last scripture about, you know, serving and helping people. It was Deuteronomy 8. It says, remember your, the Lord your God, for it is him that gives you the power or the grace or the supernatural ability to get wealth to establish his covenant on the earth. And so I just pray right now, Lord, I pray for witty inventions. I pray, uh, Lord God, I, I, I pray for creative ideas. I pray for divine connections. I pray for partnerships that are the power of multiplication, Lord. Father, I declare over this house that we are the innovators, that we are the people that, Lord God, have, uh, we got power in the land. We got power in our community. You told Abraham that in blessing, you would bless him. In multiplying, you'd multiply him. And he would be a blessing at that his children would meet the enemy at the gates. I pray in the gates of commerce right now, in the gates of our community, Lord God, our jobs. I declare that jobs come in. I pray, pray that, Lord God, businesses prosper. Uh, even as John said, I wish above all that you would prosper and be in health as your soul prospers. So, Lord, I right now, I thank you, Lord, that we are not, we don't apologize for being blessed, Lord God. That, that, that it's actually partnering with heaven when we succeed because how can we clothe the naked, house the homeless, feed the hungry if we don't have the resources to do it? So, Lord, we thank you. As we agree with heaven, we will see, we'll have eyes to see supernatural opportunities that begin to open up all around us. Lord God, for you to be glorified as a great provider for your children. Abba, Father, I give you praise. Lord, I set myself aside for you just to look upon your face. You have called me out from the shore. So as I wade into the waters, Lord, I want to know you more. Because in the shadow of your my voice and sing holy holy worthy worthy God of love and God of mercy I will join with all creation and proclaim every son and every daughter of a good and faithful father let us lift our hands and voices as we say give you praise Oh, we praise His name tonight In the stillness of the day Oh, to just be in your presence Simply melts my fears away Humbly bow before you
What about 
you? What about you? What's God saying to you today? One of the most powerful prayers I ever had prayed over me was a five-year-old little girl who came with a broken woman and an altar going through a divorce and began to pray simply, Jesus, touch my friend. Give her what she needs. I. And I was broken at the feet of Jesus because I was so prideful that I wanted this person or that prayer warrior to come. It just needs to be an audience of one, you and him. You and him, that's all it's got to be. When you and I realize that there's a shout, there's a shout way deep inside of you, but you've been pressing it down, and God says tonight, let that shout out. Let that shout out and let the enemy hear you shout because he has a great work for us to do. Mountains in front of me Valleys all around Though clouds are closing in on me It's in you I can't be found Pressing onward towards my promise I fix my eyes on what you see Crashing all around Lord, you call my troubled seas And when darkness tries to hold me down I know you're holding on to me See through, we have the power To overcome and thrive
Pastor Jonathan was teaching, of course, we've referred to it a few times, the sound before the manifestation. And Brock Black had given a, that devotional, like right at the same time he was preaching. And then listening to Keith and all of our High Point family sing this. It's, it's, we've had prophetic words for years that there were going to be new songs that were going to flow from our family here in our ministry. And the last two songs, the, the In His Presence and The Shout, uh, all of our High Point family, they all collaborated together and wrote these songs. And so... So let's just... In, in fact, if you're in praise and worship, would you just come stand up here in front? Yeah. As we say in Duggar, all y'all. stretch out our hands towards all of them. Lord, we thank you. <laughs> Even as the psalmist said, let us sing a new song to the Lord. Father, we thank you right now that there is a new sound, there's a new song going to bring a new manifestation and a new generation right now. And Father, we receive not only the download through one of us, but Lord God, the collaboration that in the cluster there's new wine in our collaboration in our love in our power of agreement in our time of diligent study and, and practices and working Lord we thank you Lord God that you're going to begin to work something in us that's bigger than the sum total of our parts Father we thank you for a gate in heaven to be opened as we open our mouths to sing this new sound of this new song. So we speak grace and we speak yes. peace and we speak blessing and we speak anointing upon yes. our worshiping warriors that have been able to make it here tonight. And we call them blessed in Jesus' name. There's no darkness in your eyes, no regression in your mind, God Almighty, God of mercy. There's no hiding from your face. Show us your face. There's no striving in your grace, God of mercy.
let's just go invade the enemy's camp. Let's come back on Wednesday. Let's come back on Sunday with just tons of spoil that we took back for the king and his kingdom. Also, we have armed conference this week. I'll be speaking a couple times there. So if y'all pray a prayer for me, everybody's welcome to come. Floyd's Knobs, Indiana begins at 7 o'clock on Thursday evening, then in the morning at 9 o'clock, and then an evening session. Our speaker this year is Dr. Lynn Hiles. And he is that wild West Virginia man. I'm telling you all. So we're going to have a good time. Also, in your prayer life this week, please remember our uh, team that's going to Honduras. Brian and Isaiah Shelton are going in Autumn Marcos. So lift them up in prayer. And especially not only pray for them, but pray for their families too. Because Melanie always says it's harder for me to stay than it is for you to go sometimes. So lift them, lift them up, all right? I love you. Blessings. And thank you so much for your labor of love tonight.